Hello, and welcome to this quick start video tutorial on setting up the correct MIDI settings within Band in a Box. This video is in response to some users who have reported no sound or only drums when using MIDI styles. I currently have the demo song for this Calm Lake MIDI style loaded. You can see we have all yellow and blue tracks within the mixer, indicating that these are all MIDI tracks. Real tracks would be displayed in green. And if I press generate and play, you can hear there is no sound. Sometimes, you may find that only the drums will play sound, as some styles will default back to real drums. But in this case, we have no sound at all. So we will go over a few different options that can help resolve this issue. The first option would be setting your MIDI input and output correctly. You can do this by going to the Options menu and selecting MIDI Input Output Ports. You can see all the ports currently say Band in a Box Virtual Output, and we want to change those. We can change the top one to MIDI Plugins, and then press Set All Ports to This. Then we'll press OK. So now, we'll press Generate and Play again, and now we have sound on all tracks. If this option did not work for you, then you can try resetting your default synth plugin. You can do this by opening up your mixer and selecting the plugins tab. Then click on one of the plugin slots where it says none. In the plugins window, click default synth and then set that to Apple DLS music device. Press OK. Close the plugins dialog. And now generate and play. If the second option did not work either, then we can reset the default audio settings of your Mac OS. Close Band in a Box and open your system preferences. Then go to Sound, go to Output and select Internal or Built-in. Now go to Input and select Internal, Built-in or Line-in if you don't have a built-in mic. Now open Band in a Box back up and see if that fixed the problem. If you normally use an interface or Bluetooth audio device and the Mac system preferences resolved your no audio issue, then you may want to have a look at your interface software, drivers, or connections to solve the issue. Thanks for watching and have fun.